let's get on this scale. Let's do it again. Plus size queen. 304.2. And as always, greetings. This is your girl, Aisha Paree. I am the plus size queen that tells you just about everything. Well, as you can see from the previous clip, today is weigh-in day and I weighed in at 304.2. That is minus four pounds from last week yay last week's weigh-in was 308.4 but if you have not been following my journey let me bring you up to speed just a bit my initial weigh-in was 311.6 i um weighed in several times and i got down to 300 even then my mommy died oh and i went through a bout with emotional eating and last week i came back and i produced a video i know you miss me and I updated you guys on my journey and I was 308.4. Now I'm back on track because on January 20th, I released a video. You better stop dreaming, get up, write the vision, get her done, write a vision for your weight loss. And so on January 20th, I wanted to get everything geared up and I wrote the vision for my weight loss. But in the wake of the tragedy, because on the 29th, nine days later, my mommy passed away. And so now I'm getting back up on the saddle and getting the weight loss journey. And so here is my weight tracker. I created just a small um, chart, like a graph, you know what I'm saying? And you can see that I weighed in at 311.6 the first time. Then the second weight in was like 310, then 308. Then I got down to 306.6. Then I went from 306.6 down to 300 even and from 300 even back up to 308.4 and now I'm down to 304.2 and as you can see I have the red line yellow line and green line denoting my short-term intermediate and long-term goals so let's talk a little bit about weight loss goals with any goal that you set in your life it has to be a smart goal it has to be very specific you have to be able to measure it and it has to be achievable. You can't just say, oh, wow, I'm 304 pounds. Tomorrow, I'm going to be 115 pounds. My body mass index is going to go down. I'm going to be queen fabulosity. Nobody ain't going to be able to tell me nothing. Uh, no, boo-boo. You just set yourself up for a major fail, a epic fail. What you need to do is be realistic. You've been eating all those cookies, eating all those snacks, everything you've been eating, been fried, honey, with a big, huge dip on the side, and you are not going to lose that weight like that, boo. The um, scientists tell you and life tells you that the best way to lose weight is slowly and to lose it healthy and to lose it at a rate about two pounds a week so that you can have the best success and that you can achieve the goals and you won't set yourself up for a bit fail saying I'm going to lose 20 pounds this week. Oh no, that's not even A, healthy for you and B, it's not realistic. And so you have to be very realistic with your goals. You have to say, okay, you know what? I'm going to try my best. I'm going to do what I got to do. And I'm going to reach this goal. And it's going to be time sensitive. I'm going to be accountable to my subscribers. I'm going to be accountable to my accountability partner. I'm going to be accountable to myself. And so my time sensitive, my time range and the way i'm gonna make this timely is every week i'm gonna check in with you even if i may throw a vlog up there in between in the interim or something like that but my weigh-ins and things of that nature are going to be very strategic every monday preferably every monday morning and you may be able to watch it every afternoon and i'm gonna try my best not to miss a monday workout but hey i'm only human anyway so here let's see just like I sat down and wrote my vision, I sat down and planned this thing out. Asia's weight loss goal. As you revert to the chart that I did below, I had the red line, 
green line and yellow line. As of right now, I'm still in the red because I'm in the 300 range and that's something I don't want for myself. So I want to get out of the red. So my first goal is very specific. Get below the 300 pound mark. I'm giving myself two weeks. The reason why I said two weeks is because I'm 304.2. So to lose two pounds in a week and that's good that's healthy that's reasonable that's obtainable some of it's probably gonna be water weight so i'm just gonna you know amp up my water or whatever and so the time period that i'm giving myself to get below the 300 pound mark is two weeks february 26 which is today's date 2018 and then i'm gonna weigh back in for this goal march 12 2018 so i'm gonna weigh in next week whether it's a weight loss or weight gain or whatever i'm not going to beat myself up or I'm not going to cheer too much because that's not my goal date. My goal date is the 12th, but I'm just going to mark it down. And you guys go back, watch my video, write a vision for your weight loss. And you will see that I have a composition notebook that d denotes my transformations. I'm keeping it there. I'm chronicling it um, manually and here electronically making an accountability videos and things of that nature. Goal number two, is to reach the 250 mark that's a big goal that's 54.2 pounds i have to be realistic that's not going to happen in a month that's not going to happen in two months but it can happen in 25 weeks that's almost five months and that's a safe two pounds a week and of course i know i've been on a weight loss journey since 2014 i know some weeks you may have those five mark bursts if you eat real clean you work out dirty and you are really specific about what you do you can lose 10 pounds in a week but i'm not going to set myself up for the okie doke looking for those so i chronicled it out and measured out two pounds a week it's going to take 25 weeks and the date for that is february 26 2018 to august 18th 2018 and so that's my sister my brother's and brother-in-law's anniversary today and jason so by their anniversary i want to be reaching my 250 pound mark and so if I meet my goal early, then that means I have to go back and re-crunch some numbers, but that's my goal. And my third goal is my ultimate goal. That's my long-term goal, which is always been my goal. I've always put it out on the channel that I want to be 180 pounds and I will be that size 12. That's my ultimate goal. But I have to make myself re be able to see that goal because if you see it, you can believe it. If you believe it, you can achieve it. And so I have to make myself see Asia, how are you going to get from 304.2 to 180 pounds, your ultimate goal? And that's going to take you 60 weeks if you discipline yourself and you hold yourself accountable and you allow the world to hold you accountable. And so in 60 weeks from today, February 26, 2018, because I had to recalibrate. I lost my mom. I went through a lot. I ate emotionally and I'm still doing good because I didn't stop after all of this. And that was just January 20th when I got on the camera and did my vision. So from February 26, today's date, 2018, to Aug April 20th, and I put an asterisk 2019, letting myself know, hey, girl, it's going to be next year. Don't even be trying to look for it this year. Do you see that asterisk? That means it's going to be in 2019, boom. But hold yourself accountable and stay specific so now my goals are smart they're specific they're measurable they are achievable because they are realistic they're time sensitive because i put a date on it a time stamp girl these are the dates you got to check in and if you lose track go back and watch this video and get yourself back on track and here what is my plan of action i made an overview for my plan of action what are you gonna do to make these smart goals come to pass and the first thing i'm going to do is watch my mouth watch my mouth meaning watch what i put in my mouth my caloric intake make sure i'm not overeating with snacks and stuff like that watch my mouth the things that i'm saying about my weight loss and you have to be sometimes in obscurity you can't share everybody your business because everybody gonna have their little spin on it you have to make sure that you're positive with the things that you say so that's going to get to my um third point of my plan of action my second point is move my feet 
you are never gonna lose no weight if you sitting around laying on the couch eating bun buns eating um oh what i did the other day i had some movie popcorn and i dumped a whole little box of miniature bite-sized butterfingers in there and i ate it and it was oh so good for a little while but i'm used to kind of eating more a little bit clean even though i have brownies and stuff around here from time to time i don't gorge and overindulge in them and so by the time i got midways through the bag with that butterfingers and i was like oh that's my old paradigm my old way of eating my old way of thinking this ain't what's up no more you know what i'm saying and i was happy even though i was tempted and i tried it that i didn't even really want to go there anymore so that show shows that i'm doing that mental shift look forward to my sister and i's round table discussion on emotional eating i haven't forgotten my boo still haven't weighed my measurements so they're coming soon keep on watching the channel we gonna do this next thing is after i wash my mouth move my feet i have to stay motivated whether it be through youtube videos whether it be through prayer fasting meditation watching myself over and over again you know, motivating myself by looking at pictures of my um, transformation, keeping it chronicled, you know, motivating myself by um, watching other people's fitness journey. Whatever it takes for you to stay motivated, then you have to do it to motivate yourself. And that's what I'm going to do. And my last thing is to stay accountable. So the Chronicles of the Curvaceous merely is an accountability um, channel it's all about faith fitness and fabulosity i'm holding myself accountable to my faith to god saying what i mean and mean what i say and loving him like i'm supposed to i'm holding myself accountable for my fitness goals because my body is my temple and if i don't take care of my temple then i'm just not doing the right things and i'm not honoring god with all of my substance you know what i'm saying and then I'm holding myself accountable to my fabulosity because you're only going to uh, feel as good as you look and you're only going to achieve the goals and make things as tangible as the way you carry yourself. You know what I mean? So you have to make sure you keep you zhuzhed up in your fabulosity and you do the things that motivate you to know that you are worthy, that you're a precious jewel, that you are, your price is far above rubies, that you are a virtuous woman, that all things are possible to you. If you believe, if you look it, then you'll feel it and if you feel it then you'll embody it and it'll become you so i thank you so much for tuning into this weekly weigh-in this is your girl asia paree the plus size queen and i will be that size 12 gorgeous confident high self-esteem don't have to depend on the man to buy her thing she got her own job and got her own car and she ain't hollywood but i promise she's a star and yeah she ain't in the drama